today we will be going to complete the whole topic of types of distortions in transmission line okay so before getting into the types of distortions in transmission line we need to know what is a transmission line so a transmission line can be considered as a wire or a cable okay through which we are transmitting some sort of energy from one point to another point we have already seen this okay so whenever a transmission line is giving space for multiple signals suppose multiple signals are entering into a transmission line which want to transmit from one point to another point okay these signals so let me draw again a transmission line so this transmission line okay helps the signals to move from one point to another point so the so whenever multiple signals enter into a transmission line each signal will be having its individual frequency suppose three signals are entering okay so first signal second signal as well as third signal will be giving rise to a particular individual frequency okay and each frequency will be having its own velocity okay this one this concept we have already seen in the group velocities as well as phase velocity whenever a signal is having its their own frequencies and whenever a signal is having its own individual uh, velocity there will be some sort of angle change or a phase change also that thing we have already seen in the phase velocity now whenever signals are traveling through a transmission line we experience some sort of losses or some sort of disturbances okay the other name of disturbance is nothing but called as distortion okay here in a transmission line we can we come across two types of distortions one is frequency distortion another one is phase or delay distortion okay now ikkada varaku em doubts unnaya let's sir yeah now let's see what is a frequency distortion okay so as i have already said whenever multiple signals are trans transmitting or traveling in a single transmission line okay each will be having different frequencies okay so let me draw the transmission line again so this is a transmission line from point a to point b this is point a and this is point b whenever multiple signals are traveling okay through this transmission line each will be having different frequencies and what you need to remember is whenever a signal is having some sort of frequency it also will be having some sort of power okay suppose there are four signals travel outune anukundam there are four signals traveling in a transmission line four signals will be having four different frequencies and each and every signal as it has got its own frequency it will have its own power also okay some sort of energy carrying that particular signal that power can be measured with respect to attenuation okay so that power can be measured with respect to attenuation so if it is a single signal there is no issue but if there are many multiple signals traveling in a single transmission line okay so each signal will be having different frequencies and different signal will be having its own power which we are considering it as attenuation okay whenever they are traveling in a transmission line there is some sort of disturbance that disturbance with respect to distortion is called as frequency distortion that is the first point okay next comes phase or delay distortion okay so when a signal having many frequency components along are transmitted along the line again we need to consider transmission line okay now again it is traveling from point a to point b and we are again considering several signals moving in a transmission line suppose here there are two signals moving a transmission line from point a to point b let us say okay 
now each and every signal is having its own frequency according to our concept now and they are having its own frequency if at all they are having its own frequency they are also having their own power e signal ko ko vere power undochu e signal ko ko vere power undochu okay and what we have seen in the group velocities and phase velocities <coughs> whenever a signal is having their own frequency and their own power okay with respect to some sort of velocity okay there will be having some phase distortion that means ee signal suppose straight ellind ankonde okay second signal straight ga ellal ani rule em ledhu because then speed vere velocity vere and the power and the frequency it is carrying is also different this signal may turn like this ikkada hit ayi malli ila raavachu okay malli ikkada hit ayi ila velluchu okay so it doesn't mean that all the signals will be traveling in a straight path or a same line whenever in a transmission line or a wire whenever you are sending or transmitting some sort of signal each signal will be having its own frequency first point as they are having their own frequency or individual frequencies there will be having different powers prathi signal ki different power untundi frequency and power different undi kabatti signal ki signal ki prathi daniki oka particular velocity untadi oka signal fast ga vellochu oka signal slow ga vellochu okay and along with that they will be having some sort of phase phase distortion means some signal may travel in a straight line some signal may travel in a diverted path like this and like this okay some signal may travel like this we don't know okay so whenever different signals having different frequencies different powers and different velocities there might be delay okay so there might be delay ikkada manam consider chesin degara input enti this is a transmission line ikkada manam consider chesin degara input idi a idi b okay signal ekka nunchi transmit avutundi from point a okay so what is the input over here at which point we are giving input input ekkada isnam signals a point degara point a yeah so here at this concept our point a is considered as input and point b is considered as our output okay now let us say we are giving multiple signals at point a at the same time okay so let us say 10 o'clock ki or uh, oka particular time ki we are giving all the signals at same time we are releasing all the signals at the same time okay now these signals has got different frequencies these signal has got their own different powers these signals are traveling with their own velocities oka slow elthundi oka fast elthundi what is the expected output what is the expected output all the signals will be coming out irrespective of time slow ga vachedi bydek slow ga vastadi ఫాస్ట్ గా ఏదైతే ట్రావెల్ అవుతుందో బయటకు వేరే ఫాస్ట్ గా వెళ్తుంది ఓకే ఈవెన్ దో వి ఆర్ స్టార్టింగ్ అట్ ద సేమ్ టైమ్ అట్ ద ఇన్పుట్ పాయింట్ ఇట్ నీడ్ నాట్ బి నెసెసరీ దట్ ఆల్ ద సిగ్నల్స్ ఆర్ కమింగ్ అవుట్ అట్ ద సేమ్ టైమ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ సంబౌట్ లైక్ ఎ రన్నింగ్ రేస్ రన్నింగ్ రేస్ లో స్టార్ట్ అవ్వగానే అందరు ఒకటేసారి బయలుదేరుతారు కానీ ఎండింగ్ వచ్చేసరికి బేస్డ్ ఆన్ దేర్ స్పీడ్ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ దేర్ క్యాలిబర్ అండ్ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ దేర్ స్ట్రెంగ్ each and every runner will be coming out as an output okay similarly here also so whenever signals even though the signals are entering with the same time into a transmission line due to their velocities or due to their different frequencies or due to their different powers okay there might be some sort of delay okay so this delay can be considered as a disturbance